is a major public health problem in Zimbabwe and other SADC countries and a priority disease for elimination internationally. It is a disease caused by parasites transmitted by infected female Anopheles mosquitoes. More than 50% of the Zimbabwe population reside in malaria risk areas. It is said a journey of a thousand miles begins with but one step. In that same frame of mind, the Methodist Church in Zimbabwe, in collaboration with various stakeholders, notably the Ministry of Health and Isdel Flowers Foundation, has resolved to end the malaria menace once and for all. The Isdel Flowers Malaria Initiative Program was founded in 2010 by Neville Isdel and Chris Flowers, Istel Flowers Foundation and works with various partners such as the Methodist Church in Zimbabwe and Ministry of Health. The partnership is dedicated to contributing to national strategies in eliminating malaria in cross-border communities of Zimbabwe. The main focus is to provide services in hard-to-reach areas. We are currently operating in Mudzi with plans for expansion to Mrewa, Mtoko and UMP as more funders support the program. The areas of special focus in this initiative being artisanal miners, road construction workers, small-scale farmers, and special religious groups. The national goal in line with the Elimination Eight Countries, or the E8, agreement is to reduce malaria incidents to 5 per thousand population, malaria deaths by at least 90%, by 2020 compared to the 2015 levels and total elimination in Southern Africa by 2030. This goal will be achieved through protecting at least 85% of the population at risk of malaria with appropriate malaria prevention interventions, provision of prompt and appropriate treatment to all confirmed malaria cases and strengthening of surveillance, monitoring and evaluation for all malaria interventions. At the moment, the types of interventions being implemented in Zimbabwe are indoor res residual spraying, continual LLINs distribution, intermittent presumptive treatment for pregnant women, community case management, health promotion support or social behavior change communication, and training of 200 village health workers. Currently, there are 234 village health workers out of the 534 required for the Mudzi district. Only 40 village health workers were trained in 2019, in line with the funds availed. Activities done from program inception in July 2019 to date include awareness and training of clergy of all denominations, community leaders and school children, training and data collection to ward councillors, village heads and secretaries. These key stakeholders were also part of the household mapping exercise, training of village workers, procurement and commissioning of motor vehicle and a motorcycle, setting up of an office at Kotwa in Mudzi, training of school children as peer educators. Community leaders, including village headmen, councillors, Church lay leaders and clergy are trusted and respected by their respective communities. Their role is to extend the reach of existing national health services and use the experiential knowledge and influence of the local context in identifying and taking action against malaria. The MCZ Istel Flowers Malaria Initiative trains and mobilizes these community leaders to facilitate community action. Despite all these efforts by the partnership and other players, there still remain challenges to be dealt with for the success of this project. We have limited financial resources for cross-border collaboration. For example, we are in four wards out of 27 wards in Mudzi and constantly aware that UMP, Mrewa and Mtoko need attention. At times, there is shortage of commodities such as rapid diagnostic test kits, gloves, shop boxes and other medical supplies, especially in the hard-to-reach areas. Slow behavior changes, for example, misuse of nets and rejecting of spraying by some families. 
the issue of movement across borders. Malaria crosses borders, therefore country collaborations are needed. Inadequate food rations for spray teams due to price hikes and general shortages. Inadequate transport for field use is also another major setback. Trucks and motorbikes are needed to quicken up program implementation. Despite the noble effort by the partnership and other players, there still remain challenges to be dealt with for the ultimate success of this malaria project in Muzi district. Renya Clinic, a donation appeal. Renya Clinic was set up to serve the people who travel between Mozambique, Nyanga and Muzi, at times on a daily basis. Some students attend school in Muzi and go back to Mozambique on the same day. There is an urgent need to construct housing structures at Renya Clinic for nurses and related health personnel. Renya Health Post is a part of the E8 initiative in Southern Africa. Currently, accommodation for health personnel exists three kilometers away and they have to cross a river and walk through a bush to get to the clinic and this becomes unsafe for the caregivers. They need at least four two-bedroom staff houses and toilets to begin with. The borehole is running dry as it was sunk only 40 meters instead of 100 meters. In an effort to drum up community and national support, Methodist Church in Zimbabwe officially launched Malaria Elimination Program in Muzi District on the 10th of November, 2019 at Kotwa High School. In her opening remarks at the launch, board chairperson, Sarah Tembeza introduced the theme for this year, which is Zero Malaria Starts With Me. Zero Malaria Further into her speech, Mrs. Tembeza gave a brief background of the malaria program in Zimbabwe and the world at large. She also hinted on the program's future plans. Awareness program can have launch. Teachers have to learn the essay. My wisdom essay. But my other is the most important. Talk to each other. We're angry. But it's the pet malaria. Mukati menjimbo emudi. Don't worry. Don't look so in the belly. We UMP. No one will talk about each other. As if no one. No one will talk to each other. She further narrated the joy that she felt when her team met village head Mr. Chikwizo and the councillor of Renya Mudzi district. The councillor mentioned that her people were prepared to mold bricks so that Renya clinic is built. The councillor implored the church to support the community dream by availing other building material like cement so that nurses and other workers can have a place to live while performing their work. Mrs. Tembeza said this demonstrated that Muzi people were not passive but ready to tackle the malaria menace. By next year, she don't get a train about 200. At the moment, she got a train at 40 for the name. As next year, she got a train at 50. She got a train at 34 years old. She got a train at 34 years old. In her concluding remarks, Mrs. Tembeza said Methodist Church was inviting people from all walks of life to come and work together, regardless of religion, because malaria knows no religion. Saga whatever chatawe na chuo se methodist ni chuo kuti tibate pamoja chete tibo gona kuti kama boxi le kuti chaga pesa mosquito chaga pesa malaria kumuzi mashuta yenu ishewe rugare ba kuti le shaka naka mume ne mume pa wapi chaba sarako le kuti malaria ipere kuchia yao pe kuchira malaria ya pera saka tisha mmo tisha kare zero malaria yaya zero malaria yenu tangu rapandiri. 
Zero malaria no tangira pandiri. Together, we can end malaria. When she took to the podium, Renya district councillor narrated her people's ordeal and said that they had only one hospital to cater for her huge district. She said some of the people were traveling 35 to 40 kilometers to that hospital. Due to transport problems, some patients were dying on their way before accessing vital treatment. <laughs> Vakapaona, Vakatarisa, Vachuangora, Zangazita, put his seat with Vakata, ah, Tango, Batican as you would as a good town. Ricavati, Tinka, it has a different dam with the Gorema, Raya, Kaku, Kuna, Mutuana, and Rajiba, but he sent the Nakura to die. Vamuan, why put off a moon, the Nopura of Pushaya? She found this of Tuaske, but she part two. But the community is already molding bricks for the building of staff quarters at Renya Clinic with locally available resources. They hope to receive support from the church through provision of roofing material and cement. School children from Nyamapanda and Muzezuru primary schools went under a malaria awareness training by peer educators who have been trained by the MCZ Estel Flowers Foundation. They made use of poetry, drama, and song in spreading the message. Let us fight the killer disease. Yes, together we can. Zero malaria starts with me. It starts with all of you. Let us unite for a common cause. Thank you. Many thanks to Easter and Flowers, partnering with the Methodist Church in Zimbabwe. Yes, it needs unity. Together we can end malaria. Let us unite for a common cause. Let us embrace the indoor residuals praying. Let us sleep under LLIS. Let us destroy all unwanted water bodies around our home. Yes, let us unite for a common cause. Thank you. Say, <laughs> be <laughs> headache, sweating, chills and shivering, diarrhea, vomiting, <laughs> tiredness. That is the weakness of the body. If malaria is not treated early, it may cause body shaking, kidney failure, yellow coloration of the eyes, and less blood. When malaria becomes complicated, it causes mental confusion, unconsciousness, convulsion, and death. <laughs> The program manager, Edith Mpanda Guta, thanks the peer educators for training the school children in malaria awareness. She was happy with the progress made from three weeks of training and was looking forward to more funding to train more peer educators, fumigators, and other health workers. <laughs> Across the border, across the border, in Malaria initiatives. That way, they move some jam around, but I go to tell them that you can do one day. We have three weeks that I have a serious scan. Now, Baba, I see Malaria should be done as well. I see Malaria is not going to be done. My time is that we need to do more. 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 In his maiden speech, Dr. Matapure who is the Mudzi district medical officer, thanks the church and all stakeholders for coming up with the noble program. It is my great honor and privilege to address you on the launch of the Methodist Church in Zimbabwe Malaria Control Program on this day, the 10th of November, 2019. The government of Zimbabwe through the Ministry of Health and Child Care, has a mandate to provide health services to the nation. However, the government cannot do it alone. The Ministry of Health and Child Care welcomes contributions 
of the various institutions, and these include the private sector, non-profit making organizations, such as mission hospitals, in the provision of health services to the nation. This event which we have gathered for today is an important milestone in the history of the malaria control program as it cements collaboration between the church and the Minister of Health and Child Care. And the realization that church is life and health is life. Kurewa kus church upenyu uye utano upenyu. The Minister of Health and Child Care is a vision of a malaria-free Zimbabwe. And by joining the fight against malaria, the church is convinced that the vision can be realized. The Zimbabwe National Malaria Control Program welcomes the church for being part of the initiative. Dr. Matapure also went further to acknowledge the support by Estel Flowers in the fight against malaria in Zimbabwe. On behalf of the Minister of Health and Child Care, and on my own behalf, I would like to extend our gratitude to the East Hill Flowers Foundation for providing the initial funding for this project. For sustainability, the church has to look for internal resources. And for that, we are very grateful. I would also want to congratulate the leadership of Methodist Church Zimbabwe for joining a winning team. As a country, we will be joining the global campaign to end malaria under the theme which we have had. Zero malaria begins with you. The Goromonzi Boys Choir rallied behind the malaria cause through song and dance. <laughs> Methodist Church in Zimbabwe, Harare East District, Bishop Richmond Mube, chronicled the long history of the church in Zimbabwe. Ministry work started from the year 1890, and since then, the church has been involved in various community support programs, including AIDS awareness and looking after disadvantaged children. Church Yedu, in a special emphasis, yet not a social action. Kurakutiko, we can only be the church if we are the church in the community. Kurakutiko, Shanda Kwenu, church must be in the community. Nekuti, Jesu, Ana, Kuwe, Aka, Gara. Manwaka, Zumiseka, Hawa, Aka, Gara, Gara, Aru, Ujigara, Nematu, Otinichi. Aka, Tindaka, Uya, Nekuna, Kwa, 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 That is the emphasis here, Tinayo. Nekuti, church, Yedu, believes in the social gospel. That is why, Tinema, thriving schools. Kana, thriving schools, Tuwati, Ma, Jukoro, Jinewa, Ana, Wano, Pasi. Uh, that is not for today. But we also were involved in health, cinema clinics at now, ne child care, till involved in check it when era, cinema centers at Kawanda Katao, no trust in Little Basa, representing Bishop. The Methodist Church in Zimbabwe, presiding Bishop Solomon Zwana thanks the community for allowing the church to launch the malaria eradication program in their area. Uh, Methodist Church in Zimbabwe, malaria control program, Tinoi Suma Muzita Rababa, Rimana Komana, Nera Muyamuchene, Tichi Parura, Nekuchaka, Rukor Benyasha, Mugubato Kobasa, Mujibo Ino, Kutiva Jinji, 
Vakuana shandu kumkati mupei wabo Muzitara baba Rewana komana Nera muyamu chene Amen In his speech, Presiding Bishop Solomon Zwana thanked all parties for coming together to end malaria and in conclusion said Zimbabwe is a blessed country which should not be marred by the malaria menace, hence zero tolerance to mosquitoes. Uh, and I will continue to exercise my stewardship of the environment because I know that abundant life comes from God and God alone will bless us. The Methodist Church in Zimbabwe is involved in other developmental projects in Muzarabani, where a school is being built in partnership with Stanbeck and other funders, including MCZ church groups. Eradication of malaria is a mammoth task, but with a concerted effort from all stakeholders, the goal is definitely within our reach. Together, we can end malaria. Wow, wow, wow.